hi, hi, hi. Running behind as usual. Hi, welcome. Happy Friday. Welcome to Friday Stream. I'm very excited to be playing Layers of Fear. And we're going to be talking about barbecue wine tonight. But before I do any of that, I need to make sure my sound and video are working okay. And then, of course, you know, uh, make sure the cat is in here as well. I am chilly. All right, how's the video? How's everything? Oh, good. Good. It seems to be looking okay, yeah? What, did I, what do I do here? There we go. All right. I think we're good to go. Looks like we are, right? Yay, chat's working. Chat wasn't working last video. So if you saw my last video, it was actually, we had a lot of people on. I was, I'm really bummed that my chat didn't show up, but me and technology never works out. And there's always a glitch. There's always something. Also, my cat turned off the computer last time. So we're gonna hope that that doesn't happen again as well. Well, before we get started, I need a sweater. I'm freezing, as always. But I thought I had, I have my yellow one, but then my husband pointed out that I wear my yellow sweater in all my videos, so all my videos look the same. So, I'm just gonna put my robe on again. All right, well, welcome. Happy Friday, happy Friday. We are gonna be talking about barbecue wines. We're taking a break from geography a bit. Uh, I needed it. I feel like sometimes too it can get a little overloading. Jenny's here. Hi, Jenny. Um, I feel like that, uh, that, that sometimes it can be overloading, especially going region after region. And it's Father's Day weekend and it's also about to be officially summer, but it's fucking hot here. It's, it was 104 today or was it yesterday? It'll be 105 Sunday. <sighs> so we're going to talk about wines that go really well with outdoor um, outdoor foods. Uh, as, in particular, we're talking about barbecue and grilling. And when I talk about barbecue, I'm going to be mostly talking about red meat. And I'm a formal pescatarian, so don't get mad at me. It's just these are the wine pairings. I will touch on... Um, chicken, fish, and vegetables, but we're going to be mainly talking about beef and pork, because that's generally what people grill. We're also going to be playing Layers of Fear. Layers of Fear. Um, I'm very, very, very excited. This is the full, complete, like, well-wrapped story. Layers of Fear was a 2016 game, I believe. Oh, gosh, that violin. Jenny, please. Last time you were in my lap, you scratched the shit out of me. Um, I really like Layers of Fear. It changed the way it was. It took the idea of PT and expanded it and, like, tweaked it to a way where it really changed the horror genre because uh, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it for anybody because I haven't played this since 2016. 17, maybe? Um, come on, Ginny, Jesus. You're about to get kicked out of the room. And I played the... When I first started this channel, I played the... Uh, the second one, or... Or, like, there's different chapters, right? Well, this, the way that they have now redone this, it's all succinct, all the chapters loop in really well together. Things seem to be making sense. Hey, Hadley! A veritable layer of cake of fear. Yes, like, like it's a wedding cake layers of fear. And it's beautifully done, too. This, this game is outstanding. I'm very excited to dip my toes back into it when I... When my uh, husband and I first met and we talked about like some of our games are our most impactful games, I mentioned this and he has been really excited to see some playthrough. Um, I'm probably going to scream a whole lot tonight. I'm wearing a black shirt. My friend got me this. I'm very excited. It's a Mind Flayer, which is one of my favorite um, uh, beings in D&D. Do &D. you see that, Hadley? How cool is that, huh? Um... 
I'm wearing a black shirt because if I scream, I'm drinking red wine. I'm drinking two red wines tonight. We're going to be talking, well, we're going to talk about all kinds of barbecue wines, but we're going to be mainly, uh, we're, we're going to, I'll be sipping two different ones and comparing, contrasting, and showing how the different color and structures work. So I wore a black shirt just in case because this game is scary as hell and uh, I might spill on myself. And that one time I wore white was very stressful. <laughs> Okay, so let's get to it. As always, I'm going to talk about the wine before we start the game because you know I can't always uh, multitask. I'm Slash, and we're talking about barbecue wines. So, in, in general, while I'm talking, I'm going to pour. Let's make sure I have... We're going to go light to full. Um... So in general, the reason that red wine goes so well, there we go. The reason that red wine goes so well with uh, barbecue is that um, the red wine pairs really well with the high fat and the umami uh, content in red meat. And when the pairing is, and generally the pairing is right, and that pairing, um, can bring or enhance the kukumi uh, in a meal or a pairing. And when I say kukumi, I'm not making up words. It is a Japanese um, descriptor for, it's like the six, like, because we have like, what, uh, five tastes, right? It's uh, bitter, salt, sweet, umami, uh, and sour. And then Kokumi is the sixth one, and it means deliciousness or craveability. And it it's it's a it happens in food, especially in like fermented food, like alcohols and uh, pickled or fermented things. And it can enhance the um, just the richness and the like the. the um, the making you want to take more bites out of it, I guess, is the best way I can say it. So, she didn't mean. So, that's really exciting. That's why I'm a big fan about drinking reds in the summer because they go really well with red meat. And I've not always been a red meat eater. I've been a, I was a pescatarian for a very long time before I moved to Texas where you, it's not feasible to eat as much, uh, fish and, and, um, and vegetables as I'd like. It's cheaper to actually buy meat than it is to buy fish here sometimes, depending on what city you're in. So, and I also just love red wines year-round. I talked about that. I had a little TikTok about it. I'm a big proponent of drinking reds year-round. You just have to have them at the right temperature. And like I said, that's anywhere from 55 degrees to 68 degrees, depending on the red. So, tonight... My, uh, it's Father's Day weekend too, so I figured a lot of people are going to be grilling. Yeah, that's why pickles go great on burgers. Good, good, uh, good assessment. Sorry, I missed that. Um, it's Father's Day weekend too, so, uh, we got, we got our, our papa a grill for his Father's Day. And we are going to be grilling, and I thought this would be a fun, a fun way, because he loves red wine too. He loves red wine. And so his favorite red wine is Sangiovese grape and in particular from the Chianti region. So we have uh, a Tunta de Rianti from Chianti Classico. It's a, it's a 2020. Let me see if I can get that a little bit better. I need to angle my light. Um, and the Classico just means it's been reserved and then a, a barrel a bit longer than just the, or no wait, that's the reserve. This is Classico. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> anyway, Chianti goes really, really well with beef in particular. Uh, in particular, burgers. Um, it goes really, really well with burgers, and um, and that's what we're going to be grilling Sunday. But it also goes well with uh, beef short ribs, beef barbecue. Now, some of these wines are going to change depending on the sauces that you use, too. Depending on, uh, especially like, pork barbecue you use a lot of sweet and tangy or um you know sauces because a pork needs a little bit of help sometimes 
and so the wines are going to be a little different compared to like beef. So we're going to be talking about beef, brisket, burgers, short ribs, that style. You want to, most people go for an American Cabernet Sauvignon. There's nothing like that, or there's nothing wrong with it, but my favorite and Taylor's favorite is a, um, he loves the Chianti and he um, really enjoys Australian Shirazes. I'm a sucker for Australian Shirazes with uh, meat. I, I had it when I was in Australia. I had um, a beautiful kangaroo steak and an Australian Shiraz and knocked my socks off. I still, like, it was like, it was nearly 20 years ago and I can, oh, that hurt. It was like in mid trying to catch her and she still did it. Yeah. Yeah, we stayed on for a while. I hadly got to see some of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're back. Can Just, you close I'm, this up? No, I'm yeah. trying to get it going, okay. baby. Is it working? I can't tell. You're going now. Hi, Hadley. I hope you're still there. Goddamn fucking cats, man. I just don't. Okay, these are still going. Oh, okay, so we gotta get rid of them. I've been telling no, you. I've been kidding. telling you since we got married. You gotta get rid of these cats. That's not what you said at all. <laughs> I'll remember that when you go sh -sh 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 to your Zelda. And that's what I'm saying. In baby language, I'm saying I should have gotten rid of you so long ago. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know where the heck I was just at. I wish, I, like, I kick them all out of the room. I kick them all out before stream. I kick them all out. And yet, we somehow find a fucking way to wheedle their skinny little cat bodies. Except for one of them's fucking 25 pounds. He's not the problem. He's not the problem. Okay. So. <sighs> Are we good? Is it working? Okay, good. I just want, like, I want a night, a stream, a moment where just everything is copacetic. I know that's asking a whole lot. Alright, so, what I was saying is, San Giovese is my husband's favorite uh, steak and uh, burger. Well, he, I think Shiraz is a close second. Let me know if I'm correct on that, if a Shiraz is a cl close second. But, um, but it's big, it's bold, it's tannic, and because of those tannins and the acidity, it goes really well with the big, robust red meats. And so, Sangiovese is perfect for that. And also because of the tobacco and pepper and smoky notes that are usually typically found in um, steaks, brisket, and, uh, uh, and some burgers, because it's beef, or burgers that are beef-based. Uh, the Sangiovese, um, the, the smokiness and the, uh, clay pot and the tomato go really well with those flavor profiles and those tobacco notes, so they just play off of one another very, very well. And, so, conversely, we're gonna also be talking about a lighter style. One of my personal favorites is a Cab Franc, because Cab Franc can dally between pork and beef uh, and and some and on some vegetable dishes, which I love grilled artichoke. So, Cab Franc is uh, going to be a little bit lighter in body, a little bit lighter in those tannins. This one is from Chinon. Oh no, wait, it's from Samur. Okay, it's from Samur, France. Sorry. Um, still in the Loire Valley. You guys know I'm a sucker for Loire Valley. So, this um, the, and then when you're having pork, you want. When you do have pork, it's more tangy, sweet, smoky, uh, can be spicy, but you want wines that can hold up with those really um, forward flavors. So Zinfandel, Petit Syrah, Monastrel, um, oh, Garnacha, Garnacha, and Pinotage, Pinotage. We have not had a Pinotage on stream yet, and I'm very excited to one day. Or maybe we haven't, I don't remember it, but um, Pinotage is a unique grape from South Africa. Very fun, very peppery, and it holds up to a lot of those robust uh, sauces like Carolina or Kansas City that are used in a lot of the pork barbecue. So when you're having pork barbecue, it's generally going to have those sauces. 
<laughs> yeah, live TVs, nothing's going to go right. Those pork's going to have those sauces, so those sauces are going to be a little bit more um, crazy on the flavor profile, so you need a wine that's going to match that. So like I said, Zinfandel or Primitivo, depending on where you get it. Garnacha, Petit Syrah. Petit Syrah is my personal favorite. Cab Franc can, depending, like I said, it likes to dally in between. Um, Monastrel, ooh, Multipucciano, and Pinotage. Rosés go very well with uh, a lot of pork barbecues, uh, specifically Tavelles or um, uh, rosés that are cab or uh, Syrah based because those are a heavier style rosé. But enough jibber jabbering. I'm going to try these wines and then we're going to start playing. Hey. Hey, 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 yippee. All right. Oh, and then we'll talk about chicken and fish in a little bit. Because I've already said so much, and a cat's turned off my computer. Just another day. All right. So the first one we're going to try is the Cab Franc, because it's, like I said, a lighter body. The Sangiovese is going to be a little bit more robust, a little bit more tannic. All nice and cozy in. And we have pizza tonight, so both of these wines are going to go great with pizza, in case I get hungry. As always, we're going to give it a nice little swirl before we get it over with. We want to aerate that wine. Also, these do need, both of these we need to decant, to decant for at least 40 minutes. Ooh, we're getting violets. Some good cedar notes. Is that it's really lovely. It smells light. I don't know what year is it? Ooh, 2019. Let's see, let's see what those legs look like. Nice. Ooh. Those are moving a little slow. I can't find it on the bottom, where is it? Looks like it's over 13. Well, they're not gonna tell me. They're not telling anybody. Oh, there it is. 13. Wow, I suck. Okay, so 13. That's not bad. Again, you want you want um, that ABV also means um, tannin. Not always, but with red wine, the higher the ABV, the higher the tannin is going to be generally. Hey, everything okay? Uh-huh. Then I adjust your game sound down. It sounds great on the TV, but I was listening to the same one on my phone, and it sounded loud on my phone. Well, oh, that's delightful. That is really lovely. Want to sit that while you're in here? That is, like, like really lovely floral notes, even on the, on the mouth. I don't know that sounds weird, but... What's this? This is a cap bronco. Really, um, I, I get red. <sighs> red plum. Really, really bright. It's, um, really pretty. And the tannins are there, but they fall off just nice enough. Mmm. Oh. Right? It's bright. Oh, it's got kind of like a. That's why I would go great with pork barbecue. So, kind of like a, a salinity to it. Mm, I wonder if you're tasting like like a like a slate or a stone or a gravel. I got some gravel, but it's subjective. That's the cool thing. Okay, this is a Sangiovese. Look at that. This is your favorite. It's got. It almost reminds me of like a like of a beach sea foam. How odd. What did you have before that? In your mouth. Nothing. Are you lying? No. Oh. Ooh, now this one. No, I'm staying for this one. This one I get like. I get clay. Not like clay, like a uh, terracotta. Sorry. Like, uh, like cherry. Like bean cherry, clay. Uh, there's some tobacco there. 
but it's like green tobacco. At least, I think it needs to open up more. It hasn't been opened very long. Oh, pff. let me try it first. Mmm. Woo! That needs to open up a bit. It's not bad though. It's a toy toy toy. It's a toy 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 toy. Woohoohoo! Um. Aha! <laughs> That's tight on the cheeks. That's my favorite. I know, you'll love that. Ooh. My favorite smell. So the Chiantis usually need to aerate or uh, open up for about an hour. The Cap Francs can, you can usually get away with 30 minutes, and this one has been okay. It needs to open just a little bit. That one is like. <laughs> <laughs> this is tight, right? It it's like it I'm good with salivating. Oh, uh, uh, you know what? That's how it does it. it does it with them big ass juicy burgers. That's exactly it, though. And so that because it mm. it's mm -hmm. and now this one does need to open, but that tightness that 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 barrel and the grape tannins. So that's front and back of the mouth tannins are there and it makes you salivate and then when you have a bite of that burger and that fatness and that juice and that umami like it all quenches and comes together what country is garnacha in um garnacha is from spain espana it is known as granache in france but it has recently been discovered that garnacha is native to spain not to france so we should be calling it garnacha no matter what all right, well, let's get to the game. Babe, did you want to take your uh, Sergio Vesi with you? Your Chianti? You set it up here. Hopefully, a cat doesn't fuck me over. Can't believe, I can't believe that happened again. Just mad at me. Do I have a pen, too? I want to make sure I have what happens when you have a toddler. I was all prepped and then then I wasn't. Did you bring me a pen? Hmm? You didn't know I needed a pen. No. Here's your here's the one. Thanks. Oh yeah. Look at us. Yeah, legs, legs are, so are like long. Oh yeah. They That's, stayed there. Yeah look their legs are still dropping. The legs are I don't know if you can see I need to change the angle on this uh so like they're just still the going Christmas story legs. <laughs> That's a good analogy. <laughs> What's the percentage? It looks like a 14, huh? Oh, I think I'm getting old. I have to think, like, hold things back. Not that that's a sign of oldness, but... Let me try to find a good pen for you. I'll be back. 14! Jeez, it took me to get it this close. <laughs> I just had my eyes checked. All right. You need glasses, <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna finally play this game. I hope if anybody's watching that you're having as much fun as I am because I love talking about wine. Clearly, and I'm so excited to get my pants scared off. So here we go. Just until oh, until I can barely see. I need to read the directions better. Okay, it's pretty dark. We'll go. We'll go right there. No, we'll go right there. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I want had it all. Ooh. That's not great, but... My palate was sated. Nostrils stimulated. Standing venerated. And one day, you took everything away. Oh, but shame this is great. and pain. I'm still not sure what game you're playing. There's a fear. But I'm back. Ah, <gasps> there's a violin. Ah! I'm so excited. Oh, 
y'all. Oh my goodness, I got goose flesh all over my body. I I'm taking what's mine. Oh, I'm so ten years earlier. Writer story chapter. Oh, oh. All right, well, we are in it. This is nothing. So, like I said, this is a completely new game. They um, took the elements and assets, obviously, from Layers of Fear and then the other one, the second one. And I think they, I don't, like I said, I don't, I purposely don't read or know a whole lot about it. My husband said that they just tied them all together and added another, uh, like a, a DLC, but it's not a DLC, added another element. And now it's like a three chapter story instead of two just weird incongruent chapters. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so, even, like, oh, there's not a lot I get to look for. What's oh, Graham? Oh. It made me think of your poem. Congratulations. RS. Okay, well, at least I got a lighter, huh? All right, well, I collected an item. Can I read that? Do I have a zoom? Cool. Ooh, I'm a handsome fella. All right. So this can't really do anything with that and there's one over here too oh that looks like a little boarding room right or a oh the rats oh the rats the rats are back oh okay layer fear 1.5 yeah i didn't i didn't play that either there was like like I said, I only paired the, played the bare bones when it first came out. Can I light my lighter? You know what? Hey, let's look at the controls real quick. <laughs> Gameplay. Oh. Interact. Oh, okay, right trigger. I don't like that. Oh, crouch is why? No, I don't like that either. Can I make, can I, should I change it or I'm gonna fuck myself up? Ah, well, well, whatever. I'll just go back. I'll just deal with it. Okay, so to interact with anything is what Okay, can't interact with that. It's very, it's, I didn't play with controller before too. I, I played with a keyboard and mouse. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's right. We are at a coastal town because of the lighthouse. Yeah. Alright. Left or right? Go left. Because then there's an immediate another left. Cool. Now, do I have an inventory? No. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't think I do. Again, it's been so long since I played this game. I guess I'll go down. I guess I should have taken a right. Oh well. <gasps> oh, I spooked myself. I knocked over the broom. <laughs> okay, there's a generator. To interact with this generator. Doesn't look like it. Oh, here we go. Look, I'm aware of the rat's presence, okay? But nothing can be done about it. They've been on this island as long as anyone can remember. It's in our best interest to leave them be. Oh. Okay, that's cool. This is great. I don't have to read it. I mean, I don't mind reading it. I, li I like doing the... Do I keep it? Look, I'm aware of no, the rat's no, no, presence, no. okay? 
but nothing can be done about it. They've been on this island as long as anyone can remember. It's in our best interest to leave okay, them. Okay, okay. Cool. I guess that's it. Alright, so rats have been a problem. They are usually a problem. Ooh, that was creepy. Ooh, my shadow's creepy. Great atmosphere. The sound's great. I'm enjoying the ambiance. Wish we could see it. Oh, but that's I love that. That's the point of it, right? As always, the score for these games are as ap as in beautiful. Dear Congratulations once again on winning our competition. This is wonderful. Let us repeat, your submission astonished us, and we are delighted to welcome you in our hermitage. Make yourself at home. The whole lighthouse is at your disposal. The whole lighthouse. A boat will arrive once a week with supplies, and if you need anything, there's a phone on the premises wishing you a fruitful and inspirational stay. The management. Why did it stop reading? I like that it does read it, though. I don't mind reading it, but I like that it does it. Okay, so he's a writer, right? Obviously, writer. He had a typewriter in his room. So the thing about Layers of Fear is it follows each chapter or each story, and this one's completely new, follows um, an artist of sorts. And uh, we followed a painter and an actor. I'm very excited to see what this one... A writer? He wants to be a writer. I'm very excited to see where this goes. Let's go, let's go. Oh, locked. That, Cab Franc, is really delightful. Do you have any pizza crusts out there? I feel like a weirdo. I ask that at least probably once every other stream. Also, we have kids, so we have a lot of pizza because, like, you know, what else? We make fancy meals. We love having fancy meals. We just don't have time sometimes. So, and when, oh, and, what I, and when I can get the three-year-old to eat, that's just great. And right now, it's pizza and burgers, which is why I'm having burgers on Sunday. <laughs> Again, with this parchment. Ooh, wounds, mental and physical, all about his service, medals, no war focus on the art and finish the painting. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is there a light switch? Well, this is just, I'm, I'm, ooh. The author of the winning essay will receive an opportunity to write the book on the subject in our lighthouse, accommodated especially for this purpose. Oh, but it didn't read the first part. The blah, 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 agency invites all interested writers to submit their essays concerning the life and work uh, blah, blah, blah. One of the most mysterious and tragic figures in the history of modern art. Submissions will be open until blah, 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 blah. Interesting. I wonder why it's only reading half of it. Okay, back. Can't interact with anything over here, it looks like. Some valves. I I feel like there's going to be some valves and possibly a fuse or electrical. Oh no, generator I should say. Okay. 1955, okay. Now we know the year. Now we know the year. That's locked as well. Huh? Whole lighthouse is at your disposal. My ass. What the? Oh, I hate it when the phone rings. It's not gonna be in there. Okay, it's not this way either. Oh shit, it was right here. <laughs> oh wow, I haven't seen one of these. Hello? I received the word that you came to the lighthouse. You find everything to your liking. Well, that was fast. Yeah, I'm here. I'm very pleased to hear it. Now, are you writing? What? <laughs> you must understand, Mrs. It is imperative that you start your work as soon as possible. 
I will remind you that you signed a contract. <laughs> now, it is very specific on the timeline. Uh, I would advise you abide by it. This reminds me Goodbye. of Mouth of Madness a little bit, right? You've never seen Mouth of Madness. No, it's that was a conversation I was too sober for. Oh. Interesting. You like to imbibe then, huh? Me too. Uh, what was I saying? Here's the bathroom. Oh, I'm an mouth adult, madness. Mama. Crippled or not, I can take care of myself now. It's time for you to focus on yourself. I can't wait to read that book. Love you. You're mm, cool. And again, can I can I see what that says? Marriage to accident with a fire. Oh, cool. These are bits and pieces from other chapters. Always. Oh, good. At least they put the rug up on the toilet. That's responsible. <gasps> what? Is somebody out there? <laughs> what? Okay. Nothing else in here, though. Okay. Hey, uh, babe, when you get a chance, could I have some pizza crust? I'm hungry again. It's very rare that I get hungry, so it's like, I'll capitalize it when I can. Ooh, we are going to go up to the lighthouse. I'm very excited. If you've never been in a lighthouse. It's, uh, ooh. Oh, it's an old bulb. It's cool. This is Our cool. Our sources say ooh. 428 entries have been submitted to the agency. The entry that won was surprising, to say the least. It wasn't a scholar who won it nor someone with proper education that would give him an understanding of life. It was a sensationalist, a horror writer, Ooh. and... And? 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 Ah! Okay, but the first paragraph says, many great talented Americans took part in the contest set up by the agency. The first edition of the event promised a great prize, a solitary stay in their lighthouse to focus on writing would be a dream come true for many. Would it? I love it. I love lighthouses. I love horror novelists. Uh, this is just tickling all my fancies. Oh, shit. I can't go up. I gotta be able to go this. Oh, no. Did a door just open? I don't have a sprint, which is the frustrating. Aha! Let's start writing. That's what they said, right? Oh, I have pretty hands. Jesus. What just happened? No dates, but I can't. What just happened? Happened, right? Was it in here? It looks like there's bugs in here now, right? Still locked. Something made a noise. Rats! They got into my potatoes! 
Oh. Look at that. All right. I think this is this is it. This is exciting. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Is it a painting? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That little tink, 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 tink of the bulb. If you've never been around a kind of bulb like that, it's a, a very, it's really, really good atmosphere. I'm just enjoying all of this already. Okay. So this is going to be our room we need to come back into and probably look at and see what's happening. All right. Might as well make some good use of the phone while I'm here. Okay, who are we going to call? Yes. Oh, my first phone was a, a dial. Hello? Hi, darling. I'm calling to let you know I'm here. Can you believe the agency already called to see if I was working? Yes. That's yeah. insane. Did you at least have time to settle in a bit? How's the lighthouse? Inspiring? Spooky? Haunted? Yes. All of these things. I was just looking around and it's certainly something. Yeah. How are you? Do the meds work? No, they're not going to be as great as the HEB. Don't you worry about me, Mama. This is your time do. to do your work. I know. To live so. your do life. Do I No, uh-uh. Keep it for tomorrow. Well, oh, yeah, that's right. maybe you're right. I should probably get to it then. Bye, son. Love you. Love you too, Mama. Oh. That's sweet. Ginny, 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 get the fuck away. Okay, you're right. They're not as good as the H-E-B ones. Damn it. He's always right. Except for when he's not. Okay. So we got a good relationship with our son. That's rad. Let me see what's going on over here. Right? Oh, wait, is there something? No, that was just a light. <gasps> no! Uh, no, I didn't do that. Let's go down and check this generator out, huh? I don't wanna, but. Beep, 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 beep. Any more rats down here? Oh, cool. That's real cool. Well, I'm on. I hate to say it, but I'm already lost. <laughs> You're cute. Uh oh. You know what else is really good on the grill? Pizzas. Pizzas on the grill. And what goes great with grilled pizzas? Red wine. And specifically, Chianti's and Cab Francs. Mm, this is going really well. If you get a chance and you want a glass of the Cab Franc, I've got a ton in, ton in here. It's opening up lovely. And Ginny, if you scratch me, or if you jump off my lap, or if you knock over my glass, or if you turn off the computer... Dear... Then, Congratulations once again on winning our competition. Is this open now? Nope. I need to find a key. I just don't know where to go. Maybe the uh, out of order thing is fixed. This seems a little bit brighter in here, but maybe that's just me. Wish I could put that bucket right there. I wonder if that's a thing to do later. 
Yeah, this lighthouse is humongous. Well, so the lighthouse, how lighthouses work is they have like an outer like enclave house and then a huge, so like this is the living area and the like, and then the, and like some of the working area. Because usually it's somebody who mans the lighthouse lives in the lighthouse. Come on. Well, babe, do you got any, Jenny? Do you got any, uh, oh, you got, no. I think I need to go back in and write. It seems to be the, are we back on here? Ooh. I thought this was crouch. Can I not crouch yet? Okay, Jenny. <sighs> Nothing new in the kitchen. Nice uh, rack of garlic, though. That's really. I'm not upset about it. Get in here. And let's type some more. I know how you must feel. Lost. What? Alone. What? Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not the sitter. Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. Oh, fun. Okay, I like where this is going. If you haven't read Dorian Gray, absolutely beautiful wonderful book and it was banned because it's uh because of the sexual nature of it but it's it's a very lgbtq book it's a rad book you should want you should read it it's also horrific i love the portrait of dorian gray love 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 it i will watch any adaptation on the picture of dorian gray all right Looks like we got a muzzle. And I got cat hair in my mouth. It's raining, it's my favorite. I'm taller. That's cool. I was, I'm taller than the last character. Ah! Rats! We would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialists, as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such, decided not to act further than a prophylactic spray. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else... The next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. Great voice acting. They didn't have voice acting on the first, uh, or on the first one, the last one that I played. They didn't, I don't think they had one on the, uh, the little expansion I played either. This is really great. Uh, it's sharper too, like it's, it's just really well done. Best regards, Carl Denton, pesky pests, pacification. I'm all about that alliteration. I love it. If the company came to my house like that, I'd be like, you're hired. Whatever. I guess that's why I like Slash and Splash, because I like alliteration. Ooh! We got some bourbon. I'm not going to drink it. Okay, we got a quite an extensive liquor cabinet. Nothing I can interact with you, but I'm going to keep it open. This is nice. 
Oh. Oh. Yes. All right. I can't, I, I can't take any of it, I guess. I'm gonna explore it all, you guys know I am. I touch every little bit of it. I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although, I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. I'll come for Cab Franck. Cool. Get some. Here, bring me your glass. I'll pour it. I just banged my glass into my mic, so I'm trying to fix it. Is there any... Oh, we don't have any more cheese. Mm-mm. I ate it all. Yep. And there's no more mushrooms. I nope. ate those all. Yep. Is there any pizza? No. Cheese? Cheese. Crustless. Oh, you just gave me all the crusts. I ripped the crusts off of them. Oh, I bet. Are you sweet? And I was gonna eat the trash left with the pizza. Oh, <laughs> uh, you've caught on to that game. You want some crustless? Uh, no. What do you mean, no? Can I have some. Pretzel uh, fish. Oh, hey, that's nice. It smells bad. <laughs> yeah, thanks. You having fun? Uh huh. This game is great. It's beautiful. It is. I like this. Who is this person? Who knows? It's I mean, totally I'm unrelated to either of the games. I know. I, I'm, I mean, I'm excited. All right, let's get to it. Oh, I love that we whoosh, just throw it right back on the door. Oh, look at the paint on the door, too. Oh, it's locked. Wish I could move a little faster. Ooh, we got all these drawers. We got all kinds of things. I'm sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. Mm. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth it to strive for perfection. Ah, uh, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, though. Promise. We'll talk later. Alright, so he's got a temper. There's liquor bottles around. <clears throat> he doesn't want somebody in the room and at his office, it seems like. I thought it was the maid, but I guess it's his wife, partner, whomever. Okay, what's that? This a, looks like a dog collar, right? Fancy dog collar. Oh, looks like little kid stuff. I just, <laughs> oh, I did it to myself. I stepped on all the damn mouse traps. <laughs> oh, gosh. My own worst enemy is me. A rat pox. Okay, so clearly there's a rat problem. Whoa. Did you hear this? change in, 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 in sound. In this clock. What time is that? The worst. I'm drawing. The rain's really coming down in sheets, too. I wonder if I can reset the traps. That's a good question. Ooh. I guess I broke a bottle of wine? I've never. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Hey, baby. I think so. Okay. I cannot reset the traps. Good question. 
another clue. It's a picture. Okay. Some call him the new Caravaggio. Others compare him to Van Eyck. And one awestruck critic who wished to remain unnamed went as far as to invoke, quote, the spirit of the great Leonardo. Oh, wow. Anyway, you slice it. The exhibition proved an immense success. Its distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiance, looking stunning in her black gown, revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expected. Exclusively? All right. So our artist is not only engaged, but expecting and all of his name has been blocked out on every single article or whatever we read. We got a Voldemort situation going on here. Man, that cap from is good. It does not go well with these pretzels. But these pretzels are making me thirsty, so. Had to say it. I'm a big Seinfeld nerd. Ooh, we got a bit. Oh. Should I go up or down? Up or down? What do you think? There's a staircase up, there's a staircase down. that. Ooh. Oh no, that's the same liquor bottle. Up or down? Come on. Uh, ah, I was going to say, I'll just go up. All right, down it is. Down, down, down. I'm going down. Down, down, down. This is a really like <laughs> I love rats. That's the funny thing is that in real life, I absolutely adore rats. I had a rat as a pet when I was a kid. I think they're cute. I love them. No, like granted, there's different levels of rats. Subway sewer rats are different than house rats, but I don't generally mind it. But man, this is spooking the fuck out of me. Is this a maze? Oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> There's gonna be like a running element, and I'm gonna get stuck in one of these chairs. <laughs> I can already, I can already, I can already, I can already set, see it. I'm having a blast. I don't know if anybody else is, but I am happy. I have, have a tap down here. Is that anything? <gasps> I made so many like weird noises. I knew what happened? Did somebody break another glass? Oh, he's coming over here to look at this bust. Oh, this is just creepy. I love it. Oh, I love it. I can't believe it's already been an hour. I want to play this forever. Yeah, let's light it. Let's light it. The part card, reading, C, D, F, C, written communication, D, B, C, D, damn, mathematics, F, D, F, C, science and health, social sciences, art and music, okay, so we've got physical education, excused from class, interesting, so only interesting you uh, if typically speaking if they test high in art and music they should test high in social science as well and reading but not necessarily music and reading usually go hand in hand art and social sciences but i don't know what the hell any of this is about like there's so many like, what is this? 
These things are creepy. <gasps> Was that chair like that? Ginny, here, you can have a pretzel down there. Here. Go, 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 go. It's on the floor. Go away. Was that chair like that when I came in? I don't think it was. Oh, this music. Right? Uh, that's not necessary. Oh, well, actually, I had really high music grades, and then I did have my high math grades. But that was a, it was a thing, and I'm not good at math anymore. But you're right. Is that my steps? I like that teacup. Man. Oh, because I was going through the glass. This is creep-tastic. These chairs, the way they're tilted. And that door leaning against that wall over there is very unsettling. This bust. Oh, his face is melted. Wow. Okay. Even these bins. This is spooky down here. I feel like I looked at it all, right? I think I did. Yeah, 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 I did. I came over here, that broke. I came over here. Oh gosh, all this stuff covered. Just the covering is creepy. And then the way you have to maneuver your way around it, it's very labyrinthine. And it's not, it's a, it's an uncomfortable, uh, which I love about this. This is what makes the game play really good. Like you can see the whole, you can see the whole room, right? You can see exactly the layout, but it's cluttered so much and it's in such a way that it's unsettling and uh, cumbersome to me as a, a neat freak, like that's, Are you following me, rat? I don't have any food. Okay. Well, I'm gonna close that. <laughs> that was uncomfortable. Alright, I haven't gone in here yet, though. Alright, we got some snake oil, we got some... Some medications, some perfumes, perhaps. What the hell did they fuck up the length? What? How oh, the hell did they fuck up the length? So a prosthetic got messed up? What is going on? This is great. That's not working. Oh, the sink's on. How do I get the tap off? There's some weird wild stuff. I'm gonna flush this toilet. Make sure it works. Cool. Really great graphics. Alright. Oh, okay, we got some... Looks like some metals. It's like a bronze. No. That. Really cool little bathroom. Can't get that sink off though, so. Light switch doesn't do shit. What was that noise? Oh, the kitchen. I am excited. Look at this beautiful room. It was wonderful. Ooh, this was painting. Ooh, 
performs really well. Really, really well done in this game. Paint, rose dwar, burnt umber, sienna, brushes times 25, air pressure, fresheners times 50, apples 10 kilos, and booze 30. I mean, that sounds like a pretty solid list. I'm not upset about it. I need 30 boozes too. 30 boozes, please. All kinds of goodies. What a beautiful kitchen. Oh, and copper pots. This is why I play video games, because I'll never have a kitchen like this in my entire life. But if I play a video game, even in a horror game, it'd be like, hmm. Well, that's nice. Good night. Good night. I'll see you in the morning, buddy. Thanks for hanging out as long as you could. Get some much needed rest. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. This is just fun. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house, for God's sake. Come talk to me when you're done, before you go to sleep. Interesting. So I thought these notes were between, like, um... Again, like I said, I haven't played this in fucking ever. Um... I thought these notes were between him and his house, a housemate, or, um... Somebody that he had kept up. But it just appears to be between... What a... Oh, what an interesting layout of a house. Between him and his wife? I'm gonna go right first, cause go oh, wait. Been working all night. Don't wake me up. More notes, so they only communicate through notes. How frustrating. How utterly frustrating. It's a bit a charm. <laughs> I don't. I. I. I'm not funny. My partner says I'm funny, and I'm not. Make myself laugh sometimes. It looks like we got a ring here. Broken mirror. This is like a. This is like a. I guess it looks like a. Roller bandage. Okay. Odd. I guess this is a master bedroom, but it, I thought it was a, s a study or a parlor at first. Toilet paper. The long-awaited opening of the Galactic Department store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exits in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building having no chance to escape the raging inferno. Oh, sucks. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sheffield, has so far declined the comment on today's tragic events. Okay. Fire. Perfume! set. Well, I have to look at all the... Ooh, a violin! Oh, and it's burnt. Oh, that's the other thing I need to do this year. I need to play my violin. I don't even care if it, it's good. I just want to play it. Might not be a household name yet, but just give her time. The incredibly talented multi-instrumentalist gave an astounding performance last night.
winning over even the most ardent naysayers. Quote, she was simply astounding. I haven't seen such passion, energy, and skill in years, stated famed pianist Daniel Richter. He was not alone in his praise. It seems even Anthony Giles, one of his harshest critics, has finally seen the light. Giles had previously made disparaging comments about the artist, stating, quote, there's more to performing music than enthusiasm in a pretty face. When asked if after witnessing last night's performance, he regrets these words, Mr. Giles gave us a look that can only be described as a mixture of awe and embarrassment. Pressed for an answer, he simply said, yes. We caught up with the star. Oh, okay. Well, that's that then, huh? Yes, we caught up with the star. Okay. Lots of artists going on here. We've got... We've got a writer. We've got a painter. And now we have a, a musician. A musician of sorts. Okay. This is fun! I don't remember any of this. This is... Oh, gosh. I mean, I mean, I remember, like, snippets, but, like... Gimme, gimme. Oh. It's upside down. You no. Know? This is, oh man, I'm just, don't be, hey, Kayla, don't be sorry you're late, hey, never be sorry, I'm just happy you're here, that's rad, welcome, welcome, we're talking barbecue wine, actually it's a really good, good moment, I'm gonna hit pause real quick, because I gotta use a bio break, you came in, the, you, you know what, when you come in, it's a perfect, like, it's a perfect sequitur, um, we're talking barbecue wines, and we're playing Layers of Fear, the full, complete, new released game that just dropped yesterday. And I'm very, very excited. I'm having an awesome time. I'm so happy to see you on. Welcome. Don't be sorry you're late. I hope, uh, I hope the lateness is just because of scheduling and getting ready and nothing serious. I hope everything's copacetic on your end. Welcome. I'm going to use the head real quick. I'm going to use the restroom real quick and pour some more wine and then I'll be right back and we're going to get back into this game. Bye. 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 Love you. Love you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. My uh, my son has uh, I love it when Hadley and Callie are on. This is Kayla, not Callie. Sorry. I have a uh, I have a Callie too, but I love it when Hadley and Kayla are on. My 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 two 
D&D DMs. Makes me happy. And I'm wearing a D&D shirt, so there we go. Welcome back. Well, welcome back. I'm back. I was using the loo. And while I was using the loo, my, uh, my toddler's favorite new song is uh, Barbie Girl by Aqua. Because the Barbie movie's coming out, and I guess the ads have been coming on, and he's like me. He's highly subject subjectable to marketing, and so I came out of the bathroom, and he went, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. <laughs> and he does the whole dance. It's very cute. And I'm like, you need to go to bed soon. I appreciate your musical talent, but... All right, so we are playing Layers of Fear, and we're talking barbecue wines. I am drinking... Uh, the Cabernet Franc from Loire Valley. It's a light. It's still a, a, a medium body red, but I c classify as lighter compared to the Sangiovese Chianti that we are having. We're also playing Layers of Fear, and I'm very excited. I, I went through all these doors over here. No, not this one. Nope, that's right, because it was locked. And there's a part where it's, there's a part in the song that says, Come on, Barbie, let's go party. And he keeps doing that to me. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. Ah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's ridiculous. Love it. He's definitely my son. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm going to go systematically through. I'm not going to get distracted, even though I almost just did. I swept through this area, and now we're going to go through this room. Let's see what we can see. This one closes. Some creepy ass shit out there. It's really great. Not everything in this game is interactive, but I like the option. What was that? What was that? Is somebody walking around? He is, is, uh... Let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some rough times right now. I really do. That's why I've agreed to let you do those illustrations in the first place. For old time's sake. I even deliberately gave you a trivial task. Because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this, and I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Shit! Please, get your shit together. Ha <laughs> ha! Fuck! Your old pal Liam Brickstone, Whispered Tale Publishing House. All right. Oh shit. Okay, so apparently uh, we didn't do a good job with Little Red Riding Hood. Okay, here's our paintbrushes. Put those there. Man, our desk is a mess. And what the? That's a handsome portrait. Oh, I get the chills. I get the chills longer I'm looking at him. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. We're going to see what this pistol's about. Alright. Some photos. He's looking right at me. I feel like he's looking at me. <laughs> it looks like... Right, like... I do not like any of that. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got a telephone? Oh, okay. Missing the bits. All the music is intense. We have books all over the place. Anything in the fire? Oh. Can I open these drawers? Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. I'll make it up to you. Tonight it's all about you and me. Let's make it special. 
You promised. Cabinets. There might not even be anything in here to interact. Ooh. There's teacups. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh. I do that all the time. So much so that I'm generally made fun of for it. But I don't care. I get excited. And I'm a big proponent to just, you know, enjoy the things that you like. What is that fucking noise? That clicking noise. Did you hear that? Okay, we're gonna go down this little enclave. <gasps> I don't, that wasn't open last time. That was not open last time because I did a quick little look-see down here. That was not open last time. Mm -mm. This is just, just delightful. But I am gonna go over my notes again, so I'm not just silently playing this awesome horror game. Once again, we're talking about barbecue. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'll go into my spiel in a second. I'm trying to just, there's a. I guess that's the room I'm supposed to go in. The creepy children's room. I don't. Like, even. I. Even before. Oh, what the fuck? Even before I was a mom, I did not like. Well, who's holding that dog? That's a Springer Spaniel. Hush, Daddy's here. Okay. okay. There's a lot of little little items in this room for somebody that's still in a crib. Just saying. Ooh, got a creepy drawing. That's how I feel, just disassociated from everything. Ooh, we kept that. Okay. Interesting. Nice set. Always wanted a hairbrush and comb set like that from like the 30s. Look at all these creepy motherfuckers. Just like with that guy, I feel like that doll is, or that dog is following me everywhere. Okay, cabinets. These are. Um, oh gosh, the rain is deafening. Sometimes, like it's actually pretty. Uh, You can't trust Spaniards, you really can't. That's just my own personal thing. <laughs> Turn my head like there's something around here. Alright, I'm gonna go in here. I think I saw that last time. But I got a key! I don't think I saw that last time. This is so much fun. I am oh, in heaven. I don't, I've had a rough last two weeks. <laughs> um, I mean, everybody has. I'm not saying that. But the last two weeks have been taxing, so this is just a delight to be able to play a game Really, ooh, 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 what beautiful graphics. Oh, oh, yes. Let's go back. Let's go back. Yes. Oh, whoops. I like this. I like this. I mean, look. Fairy tales are based off of, a lot of them are based off of the Grimm's brother, Grimm's brothers, the Grimm brothers, and they are not 
fun. Some of them, the translations don't even make sense. Like I have a literal from exact translations, the whole Grimm's and their shit is dark and gross and scary. And it was meant to be that way. So people could be safe. Ooh, a pocket in that. We got a key. So it's like, yeah, man, don't get disturbed. That's, that's what fairy tales are based off of. If it scares you, good. That's what it's supposed to do. That's why I love fairy tales so much. I think that's why I love... I fell in love with horrors because I was such a fantasy and a fairy tale kid. And, um, and I read a lot. Uh, I got in trouble for reading too much sometimes. But I read a lot. And I read a lot of things that probably were not age-appropriate for me. Cut it there. Where does this key go? Take another thousand steps. Don't, don't. Yeah. Can I use it? Key doesn't work here. Okay. Oh wait, oh wait. Let's see if I can. But I think there's a fine, like, like uh, in the fantasy that I grew up with, the fantasy that I grew up with in the late 70s and early 80s is horrific, you know? Um, and, and I don't mean that in, like, a, a bad way. I mean that it is... Um, the labyrinth is creepy, you know? Dark crystal is creepy. The last unicorn... Uh, it really scared me when I was a kid. Um, you know, uh, Total Recall is a sci-fi thriller. That's That's got some horror elements there. So I think because fantasy, I think people forget that fantasy is, is also horrific. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But I think that's why I love horror so much, and I love I love fantasy as well. Like I'm a nut about it, but I like the more horrific aspects of the fantasy. Like my favorite fairy tale, or probably in my top three, is Rapunzel. Oh, no, I've already been down there. It's a fucking basement. And I love Rapunzel because it's so fucking horrific, and it, and I fell in love with beets and radishes because of it. Um. Where does this fucking key go? I thought it went somewhere upstairs, but maybe I'm wandering around too much down here. I think there was a locked door down here. I got all on a tangent on talking and jibber-jabbering, and what a beautiful pantry that I forgot where I was supposed to be going. <laughs> That's okay. Anyway. Ooh, this is new. A lot of flavor. Paprika. Ooh, you saucy people. 1955, what a wild year. Paprika. Is this new? Figured you'd be up all night, <gasps> so I made you a little treat. You know, I bet even Rembrandt occasionally took time off from being brilliant and snored his head off like the rest of us common folk. I know. <gasps> In other words, get some sleep, you big dummy. Yeah. I love that's you. Sound, that sounds sweet. It sounds like they were sweet ones. Where do you think this key go? Oh, you're probably putting the baby down. Should not be asking you things. I appreciate you getting that kiddo. Kiddo. Is this new? No. That's right, that's the rat trap. Okay, it's gotta be upstairs, right? Is there something? Oh, no, no, no. This is locked. I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked. Although, I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Good for you standing up for yourself. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's get it going. So I'm drinking a Cab Franc. I really like Cabernet Francs. Um, 
like I said, I find that they're a little bit more versatile than uh, Cabernet Sauvignons. And Cabernet Sauvignons tend to be, when people get them, they're American. And there's nothing wrong with that. But, and then that's the everybody's go-to grilling wine. And it is, it's a solid grilling wine, it's a solid barbecue wine. But I'm here to tell you there's so many other wines that you can have with your barbecue that won't only be just as good, but might also be better and enhance the flavor. So if you like Cabernet Sauvignons, try Australian Shirazes or Australian Red Blends, Sangiovese's Chianti's, Merlot's, and GSM's, I've talked about GSMs before, but there are um, a red blend usually from France, but uh, Paso Robles does some uh, really good GSMs, and that's Grenache, or Grenache, Syrah, and Mouvedre. And those red blends hold up really well with red meat and duck, but nobody's grilling duck, please don't. <laughs> and if you're having pork, and because pork is a little bit more lean and less fat, it generally goes with sauces, and so those sauces tend to be tangy, sweet, or spicy, acidic. And so you want wines that can hold up to that. So you want like a Zinfandel and a Primitivo, you want a Petite Syrah, you want a um, Monastrel, which we've talked about before, Pinotage, or a um, Garnacha. Garnacha. And then I think at the end, we'll just talk about chicken, fish, and veggies. Because I love grilled vegetables. My favorite, favorite thing on the grill, honestly. <sighs> I love grilled artichokes. Pops down, yay! Gray, maybe. What? Uh, sorry, I missed it. You were gifted in Syrah from California? So the interesting thing about Syrahs from Cal... What part? Calif uh, like Syrahs from California are great, especially from Paso Robles or Lodi, because they get a lot of heat. Um, so Syrahs from California, you, they can only be called Syrahs from Australia, so that's Shiraz, S-H-I-R-A-Z. They're only called Shirazes from Australia. Any other Syrah, Syrah, is uh, either from any other part of the world, and it's S. Y R A H. It's very silly, but not, but not, because the Australian Shiraz is very different than any of the Shiraz throughout the world. And that's why they have a claim on the name Shiraz. Alexander Valley, yeah, Alexander Valley is beautiful. It's um, uh, in that Sonoma and Napa area. Uh, really nice climate, good, uh, good. Uh, sun and cloud coverage so the, the, the Syrah from there would probably be really in the French style which is typical of California Syrahs unless they come from Paso Robles then they're like in your face alright let's read this book no this is private apparently not never mind <laughs> oh. it's all about reading it but okay Got lots of broken bottles. We've got an artist area here oh, where a model would sit. Ooh. Cool. We've got multiple cabinets here. They are unlocked. More bottles, more bottles. I like this collection. Oh, those look like rat prints and bloody hand prints. And these look like, are these collectibles? Are these pictures that we can find? Or maybe pictures that are missing? No, this oh, is oops. private. Yes, yes, yes. Oops, sorry. Okay. Well, let's, without further ado, let's take a look at this.
a, a very long time ago, I used to have a... I used to have a, an easel like this. I love painting. I, am, I was a painter. I, I paint occasionally now. Um, oh, there's nothing more exciting than like a fresh like piece that well how how fun how fun all right lost you deserve it finish it cool okay okay what is this nothing yet okay <gasps> get it right this time oh yes Oh, yes, we are getting it. Finally, it's picking up. Like, this has been great. It's been enjoyable. But it's starting to... We don't have any cheese I ate at all. Gosh, I'm the worst. Two souls. So passionate. So talented. And yet they wanted to build something, so... Ordinary. Is she writing this story? A home, a wife, a family. Peaceful life. Oh, Betrayal so of everything that made them both artists. And yet, they clung to it. Gosh, it's painting. Okay. Save the date. Blah, blah, blah. Request the pleasure of your company to celebrate their wedding on Saturday, the 9th of June at St. Luke's Chapel at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That's so lovely. Nothing? Didn't close this, did I? Oh, you cheeky bitch of a game. And here we start it. I think here we start the the knit and gritties, huh? Why is this window open? That one closed too. <gasps> oh. Well, that is uh. We are truly thrilled to hear that you accepted our humble proposition. After discussing dates with my colleague, we find this date the best time to open the exhibition. We need time to set everything up. Getting a piano to our gallery will be no small feat. It's true, they're very heavy. Not easy to move. Usually takes about four people. I had a piano in my house once. Can we close this? <gasps> Just out of reach. Oh. That gives me the... What the fuck? Was there... I thought there was another... That looks like port. Can I do anything with this? <gasps> oh, okay! Yeah, it does remind me of the Winchester house, right? It has got some weird hallways. Have you been to the Winchester house, Kayla? Because I have. And I would love to geek out with you about it. Such a nerd. Oh, oh man. It's so cool. It's so fun. It's beautiful too. And then like, there were only like, I did the, the like the full spend all the money tour. Because I'm a nerd. And I have wanted to go to the Winchester house since I was a little girl. Because weird obsession with weird shit. Anyway. There's like four, no. Six other people on the tour. But like they didn't seem like really excited to be there. And the tour guide was really rad. And he kept asking like cool questions. And so finally I was like, I know all of the questions. And then it was just me and him talking the whole tour. I was like, and this staircase? And he's like, you're exactly right. And I was like, and this? Oh man, if you get a chance, I, I know they closed it for a bit, um, but if you can get the chance, please go. It is, not only is it absolutely stunning and beautiful, uh, it's fucking haunting. 
It's just... They don't understand what it takes to make a good painting. The work doesn't start with the brush. Just like family doesn't start with marriage. It starts with canvas. One of these days, like, there's a bunch of haunted areas, uh, or, like, haunted tourist. Um, I've got, a, I think I've got about ten of them checked off throughout the nation, but there's a bunch more I want to do. But if you can, Kayla, I highly recommend the Winchester House. And I highly recommend the Whaley House in San Diego. That's, f oh, I don't need one. All right. Looks like a castle piece. Okay, we got a piece to the picture. I like that. More spilled red wine. I love, I love when games do this. This little fuckery. Like, does this is this a person? It's clearly just a, just a hat, and a and a coat and some shoes. But you know, first steps is the hardest. I can't remember the last time I wore these. The last time I could move freely. Oh, because that's right, he got the prosthetic. And they fucked up his prosthetic, too. I can't imagine that. I don't like it when they mess up my glasses. They get one of my pres my lenses wrong, and I feel like an idiot. I can't imagine, like, your actual limb. There's a lot to unpack in that quote. Especially with his, uh prosthetic foot. Alright, I guess we're gonna go through here. Okay. Well, this looks nice and tidy. <gasps> well, you know, and then the sound kicked in. Okay. This is wonderful. So, uh, we've talked a lot about red meat and pork for barbecue, but we're going to start talking about chicken, fish, and vegetables. Because as when I, I say barbecue, it does tend to mean grill, uh, red meat, but that doesn't exclude it from being chicken, fish, or vegetables. I'm a big fan of roasted vegetables and fruit. Okay. <gasps> What the fuck? Is it a Narnia situation in here? No, stay open. Why are there boots right there? Right? That's creepy. Okay, no. <gasps> Okay, hold on. Okay, that's what I thought. These look like exact rooms. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. I thought I was taking a Narnia adventure, but like, it's not. And, oh. Bart Murillo, Sipsian de. Oh, it's Italian. Or Latin. Oh, I got a. Okay, well, at least I lit up that. Ooh, and I got a key. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Hold that. Paint pose. me like one of your French girls. Oh, those lovely curves just right. <laughs> You sound gross. Is it to me, but does that book like it looks like it has two eyes looking at me? Like an owl. But maybe I see owls and everything. What was that? What was... What the f... The closet's been covered up. <sighs> okay. Oh no. Okay, so we got that, and what is this locket? Yeah. 
What? The guy in the painting's gone. <gasps> His hand's there. Oh, no. Mm -mm -mm. Kayla, I, I love you for your observations. I'm also... Oh, no. We've got a save point. <laughs> oh, no. We don't have any cheese. Ah. Oh. I'm craving some kind of cream base. We have nothing. Do we have any, what carbs do we have other than pretzels? What is that? What is that? <gasps> okay, that just fell off the wall. Okay, so we've got a house, and a piece of the picture. Look at this sassy bitch looking at me. Hey, uh. Gosh. What is even? Some of these. <gasps> Does it know that I'm looking at the paintings? Oh, I like this one. Oh, I like this one a lot. Oh my god, I want this in my house. Oh, no ice cream things. Appreciate it. Oh, fudge! What is going on in here? <gasps> Oh, look at this, look at this. Very Evil Dead. <laughs> if it starts talking to me, you know. Oh, man, that has opened up beautifully. This with like a piece of Pork with a uh, Carolina sauce. I love the Carolina barbecue sauce. It's, it's kind of my fave. <gasps> okay, what the f- uh, right? What happened? I scared myself is what happened. And then that's... That's like that. Where? Buried hopes never die? Buried hopes never die? What is- I think I have the music for all the paintings now. I'm going to play it for you this evening. You're going to love it. Um. What? Oh. Oh man, I am just having the best time ever. The best time ever. Okay, real quick. We're talking about chicken. Get my notes. I'm talking about chicken, fish, and veggie. Because barbecue is not only about red wine, and as a former pescatarian, I wish I could be all the time. It's just expensive. I only ate um, fish and veggies for for many, 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 many years. And, um, and just because that, that's just best for me. I don't do well with red meat. I'm Irish. Uh, um, so we're, we're poor people. We do great with potatoes, fish, and light white meat like chicken and pork. And I and don't get me wrong, I love red meat. It just doesn't do great with me. And um, and it's just not good for my body, so I usually cut it out. But I live in Texas, so we eat a lot of meat. And my husband is from Texas. So, but I've also turned him on to chicken and vegetables on the grill. Or we haven't done it on the grill. I've, I've turned them on, uh, him on to how many ways you can prep and do things and they're not boring. So I really, really love grilled uh, vegetables more than chicken and fish. Grilled vegetables is my jam. And one of my favorite wines with um, grilled vegetables is Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc, particularly from New Zealand. Okay, we're gonna have to move this, it looks like. Um, so when you're thinking chicken, fish, and vegetables, there's two categories. There's herbal and like sweet, 
or there's like rich and um, rich and full, or I guess um, rich and creamy. I don't I don't know how to best say that, but like there's herbal and sweet, and then there's rich and full. And so for the, like herbal sweet dishes or dishes that are lighter and fair and like um, herbal driven forward, especially like herb basted or roasted or grilled chicken, um, artichokes, uh, roasted veggies, you want Gruneveltners, Rieslings, Sauvignon Blancs, uh, Gewürztraminers, that style. If you're doing something that's a little bit more robust with a cream sauce, like, um, and or richer fish, you want an oaked Chardonnay. Ooh, there's that picture again. You want an oaked Chardonnay, you want a white Rioja, an Albarino maybe, um, and or a Videjo. Just depending on what you're grilling and how you're matching it. But my favorite thing. <gasps> All right. So well, I was present for that. That happened, right? <laughs> I wasn't just fever dreaming that part of the the. the wow. It must be sharper. Sharper. All right. Well, now I've got a scalpel. That happened. Thank you, Cam. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, but one of my favorite, favorite grilling and barbecue wines, but I talk about it all the time, so I didn't want to talk about it tonight, are rosés. Because they're a beautiful mix in between a light white and a big red. Now, they don't go with everything. Rosés generally go with uh, shellfish, chicken, veggies, and pork barbecue. You don't really want to have it with red meat. It's going to taste absolutely fucking terrible. But um, I do love rosés because they are versatile and depending on the grape and the varietal. Wow, what the fuck happened here? Um, they, they, they just go really well. I love rosés. But like, I like rosés. Which is really funny. Like, uh, it's, it's interesting to hear me talk about wine now. Do you hear me talk about wine 15? Oh my. 10. I mean, tap that keg, baby. Just doesn't look like it's good shit, you know? And the color's all wrong. The color, it's all wrong. See? It's so stupid. Um, Sorry I haven't written in a while. I've been swarmed with work. I gotta tell you, your last letter was troubling. To say the least. I just can't believe she would set fire to your old paintings. Why would she do that? The lady in black especially? That was your tribute to her, wasn't it? I don't know what to tell you except to get her some professional help pronto. You could probably talk to someone as well. Yeah. With all that's happened, I'm sure it would do you some good. I probably don't need to tell you that the buyer was sorely disappointed with the news. The new pieces just aren't selling as well as the classics. Anyway, I'll keep looking. You just hang in there and focus on your work. I know you still have it in you. I believe in you. Interesting. Thomas Caldwell. What the fuck did I just flip? What? Where am I at? <gasps> This is why I love this game. I, like, I, I literally came up here, read this thing, and I am in a complete, like... You can't fight her. She will break you. Ooh. Oh, is that her? Is she gonna break me? She, it, oh, God, that's creepy. Okay, let's try Lock it. Okay. <gasps> it's a kitty. Well, I feel better. <gasps> Damn rat. Well, I did feel better. <gasps> whoa, whoa! Are they falling from the ceiling? 
Are they up there? Do you... Are those carvings or are those actual rats? What? Look closer, okay. Choose... Uh, what was the time? Seven forty, seven fifty-five, right? Oh, 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 right. That would be right. Seven fifty-five. Yeah, the woman in black is such a good horror device because everybody knows whom it is, right? Or at least generally. Was it forty-five or fifty-five? Those are just, ugh, fucking glasses. Do you know if it's seven? I'm terrible at reading a damn clock. What was that? Okay, let's check out this painting. Maybe there's a clue in here. <gasps> like moths to flame. That's a fox. I thought it was a cat. No matter what we did, the fireplace just wasn't enough to warm this room. That's how I feel all the time. Cold all the time. Interesting. Interesting. We got... That's a cool paint. I don't care what you say. Let's, let's get this warm room. <laughs> Let's get this warm room. Let's get this room warm. Eh? Four. Oh shit. All right. All right. Let's just call. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's just a book, Bertie. Down. So we got six, nine, and eleven. Six, nine, and eleven. Cool. Well, I'm glad we found those numbers. Let's see if those are in the order. No, no, that's not. Oh, okay. Cool. Ooh, we get another key. All right, another key. I'd like to investigate this area just a little bit further. Did our paintings turn back to normal? Nope, they did not. Oh, dominoes. We need to get a set of dominoes for the house. Kiddos love them. And I love playing dominoes. I love playing bones. Reminds me of being on deployment. Like the good parts, not the bad parts. Okay. Alright, I guess we're gonna exit. Watch out. And you can't fight. This it. is fine. This, this is, is good. good. Th these are great conditions. I can finish it. I can. I will. I need to. For all our sakes. For our family. For a family? Or just for you? Go on, tip the scales. Mm. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck off, dude. Chill out. Let me get through that. Whoa. Cool. This wasn't here before. It looks like he's going to... Like, the... Right? Looks like he's holding a glass up to her throat. I love the, the vermilion theme of this room. The blood. Right? Okay, okay, okay. Just 
color should I choose? Oh, okay. Look, from this angle right here, that looked like a woman. Like the curve, I thought it was like a lady standing or like hanging. So I guess I should choose green because it's rocking. Right? Oh, that's why the I love. Green of her eyes, the red of my paint. Go green. That's her. That's the hairbrush. Oh, oh, god damn it! I love this game. It's just so beautifully done. Like I could pick something up, I look around, and I'm in a completely different environment. Like that's that's rad. Like I don't. I just this game. Dreams. Okay, but we're gonna go this way real quick too. Oh, but I can't because I chose green, right? Very uh, erroneous Bosch, right? It looks very Bosch. I mean, I shouldn't say very Bosch. It looks lightly Bosch because only Bosch can look very Bosch. <laughs> and if you don't know who Herodias Bosch is, Google it, look it up. He is an am was an amazing artist, one of my favorites. Um, painted some fucked up, awesome shit about the bourgeoisie. Ooh, look at all them apples! Can you hear her? Well, now I can. What is this? Also, God, I love apples. When I lived in, um, when I lived in Indiana, and then when I lived in Washington, apples were like apple season, apple harvest, apple festivals. I love apple cider. God, I miss being in a state that actually has a climate. She will break you. She will break you. Locked. Don't worry, you're not alone. Perfect relationships may look great on the silver screen, but the rest of us mortals have to face the simple truth. Nobody's perfect. And you know what? That's fine. In fact, many loving couples struggle with day-to-day -day life in a relationship. This does not make them any less special. It just takes some work. And we're here to help. Our consultants, all trained experts in their field, will help you identify the source of your troubles and deal with it at your own pace. Whether it's simple miscommunication, money problems, or conflicting personalities, where there's a problem, there's always a solution. And remember, it's never Same too late. Though, if maybe like the solution to the problem is that's it. There is the solution. It's diluted. It's done. You know? Interesting, uh, interesting advice though. Because, like, again, I'm not against it. I'm just saying, like, interesting advice, interesting advice. And here we are. Wow, a new setting. She will break you, she will break you. Let's go down here. Oh, look at all those fighting kids. Heronius Bosch. Not full Heronius. Heronius. I was telling, that's what I was saying. That's exactly the whole thing that I was saying in the whole bit. It was Heronius Bosch. Well, I'm not going to go in here yet. Even though it just saved. I want to see what's down here. Past holds back. Oh yeah, it was just down here. Oh, can I go in here? Nope. Felonius Bosch. I like Felonius though. Oh, I get it now. It was a good dad joke. Look, my tat like I 
Uh, we need to. I, I've told you this a few, or we've talked about this a few times. I think we should I, drop the Takata here. People won't be able to concentrate on anything but your music. It's about our family, after all. About both of us. I'm sure Thomas would agree with me. It's hard to see um, the chat text. I can barely see. I, like, so if you see me like doing this or like squinting, I can barely see it. So I didn't see your silly dad joke. Um, but I'm not sad because, you know, there's going to be like seven more. And I'm, I'm being way under counting. All right, we got some murals here, huh? We got the stripe or that swipe again, huh? Ooh. We're missing the top of our easel, and there is a headless bust. This all screams super fine. Everything's fine. Oh, all right. Let's follow the swaths, huh? Hey girl, hey. Everybody's like sassy. Except for that guy. <laughs> he looks pretty upset. Okay. Got a lot of like ah, oh, here we go. I have a new set. Less flashy this time. You were right, it works better. I can't wait for this opening. I've never dreamed of making art together with you. Here we are, and it's all I could have wanted. All I could have wanted. Is it though? Can I go out this door? I'm very uncomfortable. I didn't want to come in here in the first place. Alright, so... What is that creaking? Oh, it's... <gasps> this didn't have a canvas on it before. What the fuck? Dudes. Dudes! Okay, 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 okay. So this is clearly something that I need to look at. Oh, this is cool, but I'm curious on how... do this puzzle. Or maybe I'm just interacting with it wrong. Oh, I wonder. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's start it. Okay, so we follow the swirl. And do we go this way? Any thoughts? Any thoughts, hon? I feel like... Maybe I just need to exit the room. Maybe I'm overthinking it. You know? Well, that's unsettling. Huh. Uh, thoughts? I feel like there's, but there's just no way to interact. And I feel like I was, I, I thought that I maybe needed to tread like a, a certain path or a walking bit, but like, I uh, What do you think? What do you think, hun? 
you're still watching. I know you got the puck down, so I didn't know if you... Right, well, all the areas are locked. I don't really have a clear way through. So, you know what? I'm going to take a quick restroom break since it's just me, and I will be back. Okay, back, back, back. Sorry, guys. I'm really enjoying this, but I'm hung up on this section, and I had to use the restroom. Um, I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Not that I know known where I'm supposed to be going this entire time, but I'm legitimately. Where's my other headphone? It's lost to the world now. Um, I'm legitimately stuck. I feel like. I should be able to use these, um, it's on the angle and how you come towards the photo, or the, not the photograph, the painting. So I really just need to... And I can't move these. So I just want to kind of understand, like, why I'm getting to the part where I'm getting frustrated and I just want to have fun because I was having so much fun and I hate getting stuck. Not like anybody likes to get stuck, but... Yeah, like, I, I feel like I'm looking through all the frames, right? And, like... Don't know... Like... I feel like I've looked through all the flame frames, and there's... Like, I don't know what oh, the gist of it is like it's frustrating yes I have a hypothesis yeah yeah let me see okay mm -hmm. what's your hypothesis tell me why you're doing it uh, so apparently when you I think when you look through the empty frames each mm -hmm. section of the room changes and adds a new empty frame now that's how it used to be, right? So we'll see. Hmm. Oh, there we go. This didn't wasn't empty earlier, right? What? This frame just now became All empty. All of them are empty and not empty at the same time. Okay. Look, look, see? I, that's what I was telling you. Right, right, but every time you look through one, apparently one adds. Apparently it started with one, now there's two, now there's three. Apparently we get to one where there's four and a door opens. Okay. 
I've looked through all the frames. I mean, I'll, I'll keep doing it. It's just frustrating because, like, I've I've had this door. That one doesn't open. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, no, no. But look, 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 watch. I don't want you to look. I'm looking through this one. Okay. Mm hmm Looking through this one. Has it? No, nothing's open though. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. I've gone around this way. Can't. Going around this way. That's as much as you can do. Mm -hmm. That's it. Hmm. So what? Where's the fourth frame? Like, I don't understand what you're saying. There we go. We just opened up right there. Go back. See it? Yeah, that's. I just ran. Yeah. How do I? I've done that like three times. Okay. How do I run over there and do that? Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's happened like three times. Oh, I wish they. Hit. I wish the things were a little better. Sorry, babe. I'll go back to the drawing room. That's not what I'm saying. I just. All right, I guess we're gonna call it here because I'm not having fun anymore, and I'm getting frustrated. And like that's it. Like it's supposed to open up a door. I've checked both of these doors. They're locked. So, am I able to interact with these things where I can... Like, look, if I look at it this way, it looks like one's over there. Thanks. Frame, uh... I guess? I don't know. I, it's, uh, I, I can't move any of these frames. Very good point, Kaylin. I appreciate that. I can't move any of these frames. So, it's like... Let me try one more angle, because it's pretty, you're pretty much at the end of the puzzle here. Right. Apparently, this last frame that we get... Go away, Zelda. Okay. There we go. Okay. How do, I see... That's frustrating. I've done that like six times. I know. I that's the only way that it's solved. So I just did it over and over again. Okay. And there's a key. There's Zelda, the key. shut up. Here we go. But I think we are after we do this step, yes. we do the auto saves. Yep. Yeah. I wish I could just end on a high note. I would like I would like to be able to end the game like I'm happy and having a good time. I'm now I'm just like frustrated my husband wants me to end it and I should end it. I just never get to fucking play video games. I literally get to play video games the two nights that I stream. I don't get to try it out beforehand. I don't get to play it on the weekends. I don't get to test anything out. I just want to play video games. That's all I've done my entire life and now I have a baby and I don't get to do shit. So here we go. It's a beautiful game. Will this storm Ooh. ever run out of rain? No, it won't. Look at that. That's cool. I'm glad I looked up. Zelda, Zelda, get off the fucking computer. Turn it off again, and I will skin you alive. She's not concerned about me. She just wants fucking cat traits. Nobody in this house gives a shit about mom. Just want cat treats to be fed or something to be done. Alright, what am I supposed to be doing? There we go. Let's go out. Let's get out of this room. Ooh, music! Beauty. How can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart. My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one veiled painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. 
I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day. That pathetic, hurtful look. A combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. <laughs> I've come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decided to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks me a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, you know, it's 1225. We're going to call it there. I think we reached a new chapter. Really love this game. Ooh, hoo, hoo. And we got some muddy footprints. But I'm going to wait to follow them until next time. All right. I think we're going to pick this up next Friday. Next Friday, because we always do new horror movies. Or new horror movies. New horror on Monday. Um, or pick it back up on Monday. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I really am loving this. I wish I had more time to just actually enjoy it as it was as a game privately, but I am also enjoying playing it on stream. Like I said, I don't get to play video games outside of stream. The stuff that I play is literally the stuff that you guys get to see. I don't have a lot of free time. So, um, Thanks for tuning in. We talked about barbecue wines, and I'm going to do a little quick recap as we hit pause. So we talked about barbecue wines tonight. Um, and in particular, as I've highlighted before, um, when I think barbecue, I typically think red meat. And I'm not a red meat eater, but when I think barbecue, I think red meat. So a lot of the wines that I'm talking about are red wines. We're going to touch a little bit on whites at the end. I'm going to do my quick little spiel, but like I said, beef, brisket, uh, traditional beef barbecue, you want Cab Franc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Sangiovese, Chianti, same thing, Merlot, GSM, or an Aussie Shiraz. For pork, and because pork usually has those sauces, you want something a little bit more zingy and tangy. So you want a Zinfandel or Primitivo, Garnacha, Petit Sera, Monostrel, Multipulciano, or Pinotage. Chicken, fish, and vegetables. Depending on how herbal or sweet it is and how rich and full or creamy it is. Smoky. Uh, herbal sweet, you want Grunewelter, Reasoning, Gewürztraminer, Sauvignon Blanc. Rich and creamy, you want White Rioja, Albarino, Oaked Chardonnay, and Verdejo. <sighs> Yeah. And the reason, and the reason, most importantly, one, you should have your red wines chilled. Like I said, red wine should be served between 55 degrees and 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, barbecue wines, you want between 60 degrees and 68 degrees because they are a bit more full body. So you want them around that temperature. Uh, the reason that red wines pair so well with red meat is due to the high um, fat and umami in red meats. And that really holds up with the structure and tannins and acidity in red wines. So the best way I would say is the style of barbecue meat you're having, you want to go with that wine. So pork is tends, pork's the other white meat, right? So you want a lighter red for those. Or if it, but generally, right? But because pork barbecue generally goes with sauces and really robust flavors, you want something a little bit more than that. So like I said, Zinfandels, Primitivos, Petit Syrahs, all that. Um, but then the smoky tobacco, peppery flavors of beef, like brisket, steaks, or burgers, you want something that matches that. So you're looking like at Cabernet Sauvignons, Merlots, GSMs, Sangioveses, Cab Francs, and Shiraz. My favorite, personally, my favorite all-time, hands-down, crowd-pleaser, barbecue wine that you will never go wrong with is an Aussie Shiraz. 
You get an Aussie Shiraz or an Aussie Red Blend, and those are the perfect barbecue wines. So that's it. And we talked about barbecue wines. We're hitting summer. Um, it's Father's Day this weekend, so I thought that it would be appropriate to, to cover some, some fun, you know, barbecue wine tips. As always, please make sure you drink responsibly, take care of yourself, hydrate, you know all the gist. Be kind to yourself, and please, 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 most importantly, be kind to yourself. Oh, thank you. You you have a wonderful weekend, Kayla. I'm happy you you turn, tuned in. I don't care if you're late ever. I love seeing you on. You be safe out there and have a good weekend. I know it's hot where you are, so please hydrate. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Once again, I'm Slash and Splash. If you ever miss my stream, uh, upload a YouTube on Wednesdays. We upload on Wednesdays now because the schedule's crazy. So we stream every Monday and Friday. And we upload every Wednesday and Saturday, I think. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Once again, thank you guys. Have a good night. And I will see you Monday. Cheers.